The last piece of the problem above, all right, it had x minus 5 squared equals 5. All right, I would have to solve it. All right, so to get rid of the squared, I take a square root. All right, that's going to get rid of that squared. So I take a square root of each side. All right, and when I do that, remember, you have to get a plus or a minus 5. All right, plus or minus 5 when you take the square root. The square root got, got rid of the squared, and you just have x minus 5 equals plus or minus 5. All right, all I need to do in these situations is simplify the radical. If it does, all right, it might involve an i. All right, might involve an i, and then move everything to the other side. All right, so typically you'll have a number to add or subtract. You might have to divide once in a while, okay, unlikely, but you might have to add or subtract something, and you'll have to go through and have a radical, maybe simplify it. All right, so these are ugly looking. They're long to do. There's no shorter way to do them. All right, it's either completely square or quadratic formula.